Historic deal passed. City Council votes to approve hundreds of millions of dollars in bonds to help develop Port Covington. It's the highest such approval in the city's history. WJZ is live. Ava Joy Burnett explains. Some are applauding the move and others are saying it's a bad deal. Ava Joy. Bank, we're talking about $660 million in bonds. Some people are saying that should go to other parts of the city, but supporters are saying this is good for Baltimore. Fort Covington, a bold vision for Baltimore. After weeks of ups and downs, the multi million dollar deal to help build Fort Covington went through city council in a breeze. $660 million in bonds will now go to the project, a fraction of the $5.5 billion in total cost. Councilman Carl Stokes voted yes and has big hopes for the future. I actually expect it to be uh, something that makes a strong difference economically for uh, citizens of Baltimore. The project will come complete with new housing, retail, and a new headquarters for Under Armour. And I think in 20 years you'll look back and say that the city uh, made the right call here in keeping uh, not only Under Armour here, but a tremendous opportunity to redevelop a grossly underutilized under piece of property. The company that will be developing Port Covington calls the deal transformational and inclusive, but the one council member who voted no said there was nothing in it for his district. Councilman Warren Brand said he specifically wanted more affordable housing opportunities and protesters agreed. I'm there to represent the people in my district. If they don't get nothing, then they can't get my vote. Councilwoman Mary Pat Clark has had concerns all along. Monday night, she neither voted yay nor nay. Well, I wasn't going to vote against Port Covington because I think a lot of good has come from it and will. Now that city council passed all three of these bills, they go to the mayor's office for her signature solidifying this deal. Reporting live tonight, Ava Joy Burnett, WJZ Eyewitness News. Ava Joy, thank you. And shortly after tonight's vote, Sagamore Development released a statement saying they are excited to start creating jobs and generate a long-term positive economic impact for the city.